Good morning, your fitness first community. Hope you're all okay this morning. Um, we've got a small weights workout for you this morning. So, two kilogram weights. We're going to be doing eight exercises. We're going to do 35 seconds on, 25 seconds off, rest, eight exercises, like I say, and we're going to do three rounds. It'll take us about 24 minutes, 25 minutes. So, it's going to be a full body workout. Like I say, two little dumbbells in your hand at all time. You can do this without dumbbells though. If you haven't got any dumbbells, you can use tins of beans. If you don't want to use tins of beans, you can literally use this as a cardio aerobic workout. It's a really good workout. Um, involves doing all sorts, um, involving all the body, working the body, and giving yourself a good little workout. So, get yourself some water ready. We're gonna go in a minute or two with a nice little warm up. Um, like I say, it's Wednesday morning, midweek motivation. We've got the eight exercises, 35 seconds worth of work, 25 seconds worth of rest. It's going to be a tough little workout, but it's going to be a good one. You can make it as hard as you want, to be fair. You can go at your own pace um, and take it nice and steady, but it can really go helpful ever and make the most of this short time. It's entirely up to wherever you're at. And like I say, you can do it with or without weights. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to start with a nice little warm up. Have a little drink. Throat's still a bit croaky. Cold's gone, but throat's still a bit croaky. So we're still working hard, getting this done, getting rid of this, making my body stronger. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with a nice little warm up. It's a small weight, um, full body workout. Fantastic, like I say, we've got 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. You can start with a nice little march on the spot. Nothing strenuous, just warming up the body. At all times over here, keep your core engaged. Protect that back. It just helps, just protect the lower back, especially with some of the moves. Um, so you won't be hurting anything. Let's have a nice little step back. That's it. Warming up the body. Nice and done, bringing the arms up in front. That's it, nice. Little warm up, just getting the body going. Wake it up, all the planes of the body. And back to marching on the spot, get those arms swinging now. I'm gonna add a little twist in, just to warm the core up. So a nice little twist, warming the core. Warms those glutes up as well at the side. That's it, on your bum. Just warming up the glutes. That's it, nicely done. Good work. I'm going to do a nice little heel kick now and the fly. This is going to be the first move that we do. So heel kick, fly, but with the weights in our hand, all about. Just from side to side. Again, nice and steady. 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. Take some deep breaths in. How's he going? Get that body warmed up. That's it. I'm just going to have a reach up to the side. That's it. Warming the body up. We're almost there. It's a nice short warm up. But it's good enough to get the body going, to get the body warmed up. Ready for this fantastic workout. That's it. Good work. And just go back to watching on the spot. So, like I say, the first exercise we're doing. Is a heel kick reverse fly with the dumbbells in a hand or without the dumbbells. It's entirely up to you. All it is is heel kick up, kicking your bum, and reverse fly. Like that. 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. We've got three rounds to go, so let's do this. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Make sure you get plenty of water when you need it. Small weights in hand, tins of beans in hand, whichever one you want. We're going in three seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So reverse fly. Nice, steady motion. That's it. Good work. Nice side to side, bringing back the arms. Really working. That's it, nice kick up. Heel kicked up, holding the core in. The core is engaged at all times. That's it, nice work. And we're almost there, five seconds. One, and rest. Active rest, so we're just marching on the spot. 
back with the forwards. We're doing a dip and reach. So this one is just dip down and reach up. Nice little dip. We're not doing a full squat, we're just doing a nice little dip and reach across the body with the other hand. So coming across. Again, core's engaged, really working that core. Let's go three, two, one, and up and down. And that's it, one side to the other. Nice, controlled motions. Good work. Round to one side, leaning over, using the core, again, all the time, protecting that lower back, working the body, using the quads on this. That's it, and punching out. Like I say, you can do this with or without weights. That's it, good work. Deep breaths in. And stop. Nicely done. Good work. Next one, we're doing a knee hook. We're going to do the left knee first. So the knee's going to come up. We're going to do a right hook. Just twist it out. Keep this hand with the dumbbell in. And you're twisting one knee at a time. Then we'll sort of right knee on the next one. So you ready? Three, two, one. A knee up and a hook. That's it. Twist the body. Knee up, hooking over with the arm. Nice and steady motions, all in your own time, at your own pace. Again, I say we don't whip all about weights, this. It's you against you, wherever you're at. That's it. Good work. Knees coming up, twisting over, hooking her. That's it. Boom! Banging somebody out. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> that's it. And we're going to go to the left side, right side this time, the left hand hook. So that side. Nice marching on the spot though in between. Get that breath back. Deep breath in. Let's do this. Round one. Come on. Shake those legs. And bring that knee up and walk it over. That's it. So bring it around. Three, two, one. Let's go. So knee up, hook. That's it. Nice, controlled movement. Don't need to break any records or going as fast as you can today, unless you want to. But that's nice and steady, controlled movement. Really helps tone up, using the muscles more for a longer time. It's a lot better than doing short bursts, especially when you've got weights in your hand. Time under tension helps build strength and tone up. That's it, we're almost there. And good work. Walking on the spot again, nice and light. While well, I show you the next exercise, we're going to do the reverse lunge with our arms up. So, not a full lower reverse lunge, we're just doing a little leg back, arms up in front. Again, core's engaged, alternating legs at each time, bringing the arms up to balance. Three, two, one, and reverse lunge, arms up. That's it. Nice, steady, controlled motions. We're not swinging the arms. We're controlling every little bit. That's it. Nicely done. Good work. Fantastic. Let's keep going. Reverse lunge. Bring those arms up. The front raise. We're not swinging. Controlled movements. Three, two, one. And then, uh, brilliant. We're just standing on the spot, shake those arms off. We've got a punch out, so we're just literally standing and we're punching. But again, all this core, we're using twisting motion. It's a really good core exercise, this one. Punching out, all in your own time, at your own pace. Three, two, one. So we're just, that's it. Punching. Side to side, twisting that core, all done. Boom. And breathe, go on. We're over halfway through this workout. First round, even. <laughs> That's it, go on. That's brilliant, go on, keep pushing, keep working. Punch, 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 punch. That's it, nice, three, two, one, and nice work, 
Marching on the spot again. We've got a knee to the side and arm to the side. We're going up, two, up, two. So it's more to the side you're working because you're working side obliques here. Nice little workout here, working the arms for pushing shoulders and the legs go up at the same time. So knee up, arm up, on the side. So three, two, one. We'll do two on one side and then two on another side. That's it. One, two, one, two. So you're really working the side of leaks here. Or if you're turning your leg out to the side and your arms out, that's it. Good work. That's it. Boom. Almost there. Bit of a coordination on this one, but it is really good for those sound leaks. Nice work. Keep pushing. Good work. Well done. Fantastic. So, next one, the last one, we're doing a step and lateral raises. Nice and simple. Step to side, lateral raises. And keep walking on the spot. This is the end of round one. We're almost there. Let's finish off, and then we've got 30 seconds rest in between. Let's do it. So step, and lateral raises. Again, nice controlled movements. Not swinging, all controlled. That's it. Nice work. I'll grab a little drink after this, and then we'll do it all again. That's it. Good work, we're almost there. End of round one, stepping and lateral. That's it, those arms are burning now. I know the arc is lying off. Four, we're almost there. Though. Three, two, and finish off one. Good work. Put your dumbbells down, shake those arms off. Grab yourself a little drink, well deserved drink. That's the end of round one. We've got two more rounds to go. Let's do this, yeah? Come on. So we're starting off with a heel kick and fly again. We're straight back in. If you want to pause the video anytime for a little bit longer rest, not a problem. We'll get straight back in if you can. So three, two, one. Heel kick, reverse fly. Nice, steady motion. Like I say, time under tension. Working the body more. Builds more strength. Tongues up more. Really is good. Yeah, rather than just blasting these out, we can go fairly fast. Which is good for cardio as well, but this is more about toning the body, working the body to get the best shape that you want. That's it, really does help shape and tone your body, this does. That's it, well done. Three, two, one, and nice. Back on the spot or walking on the spot. Nicely done, we're on round two, so we're doing a dip and reach. Reaching up, almost punching the sky. Nice, steady movements to side to side. Let's do this. 10 seconds. Round two, come on. Let's push this further. Go three, two, one, and dip and reach. Dip and reach, good work. Nice work. Fantastic, come on, let's do this. Up and reach, dip. And reach, good work, come on, push through. Great stuff, you can do it. Go on, 10 seconds left. Four, go on, and up, and reach. Good work, let's keep pushing. Three, two, one, oh, fantastic. Let's keep walking on the spot. The next one is a knee up. So we're gonna stay on the left knee. And we're doing a right hook. So knee and hook. Like I say, we're more about the small weights, it's entirely up to you. Keep marching on the spot if you can. We're going in five seconds. Come on, let's do this. Knee up and hook. Let's go from knee and hook, one side. Nice, controlled movements. Good work. That's it. Really working the core, really working the arms. Holding that arm up, nice, chest out, and you're hooking across. That's it. Good work. That's a different dimension with the weights. If you're doing it without the weights, you can probably go a little bit faster if you want. It's entirely up to you. Five seconds, 
And we're going to swap to the other leg and do the right knee and the left arm. Well done, good work. Oh, shake those legs off. Let's do this. We're almost halfway through round two. So we've got the left knee, uh, right knee and left arm up. Nice controlled movements, nothing fast, nothing furious, just all nice and controlled. Let's do this. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and knee up and hook. That's it. Good work. Bring the other arm up in front of you, just to bring that balance and twist. Just protect that lower back and keep the core engaged. Work in the body. Fantastic work. Go on, push. That's it. Fantastic. Keep going. Knee up and twist. Good work. We're almost there. Come on, let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh, nice work. Good work, everybody. Let's push through. We've got the reverse lunge and front raise. So alternating reverse lunge. Don't need to go too low down, just stepping back will do. Um, just opening up those hip flexors and lifting up in front of you, nice and steady. So we're going to go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Reverse lunge. And lifting up front raises. Good work. Deep breaths. Keep breathing. Like I say, nice, slow, controlled movements. That's what this workout's all about, tone and shape. Shaping that body that you desire and toning up all the muscles. Swapping the fat for muscle as well. That's it. Good work. Almost there, three, two, one. Well done, shake those arms off if you need to. Put the weights down at any time and just do it out of the weights. Like I say, it's you against you. You can even get smaller weights. These are two kilograms. Tinder beans are half a kilogram. You've got some one kilogram weights, go for it. Next one is a punch out. So we're just punching side to side. Out right, in front of you. Three, two, one, let's go. Punching. Have that little dip in if you can, nothing major. Just going side to side, punching out. Again, calls engaged. Working the body, pulling the arms in. And now, good work everybody. Fantastic work, let's keep pushing. Oh, fantastic, go on. And go up and down, up and down. Good work, keep going, keep working, keep pushing. Never ending improvements, come on. That's what we gotta tell ourselves. Come well done. Nice, we've got the knee up. And elbow, uh, arm up from the side, go one, two, then to a side, one, two, again. So your legs turned out, look to the side, your arms turned out, using these side obliques here. So again, keep your core engaged, really working the side obliques. We'll do two on one side, two on another, three, two, one, let's go. So knee up, arm up, and swap. Up, up, up. that's it, nice. Controlled movements, really working the side obliques, working the legs, working the shoulders. So it's a full body workout, this is fantastic. Two on each side, gonna do more on each side. Three and four, there we go. One, two, three and four. Just so you're not swapping as much. Two and one and two, good work. Fantastic. We've got the last exercise on this round. And then we're on to our last round. We've got the side step laterals. So I'm just stepping out to the side and laterally putting and raising your arms up. Last exercise, 30 seconds rest. And then we'll go round three. The final round. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> stepping out. Laterally arms, nice and controlled movement. Again, the core's engaged at all times. I know I say it all the time, but it's so important. Pull that tummy in, really tone up. That tummy as well at the same time, but protecting that lower back. We're going out, nice, controlled movements. That's it, stepping out, 
Just nice little movements. My shoulders are burning now. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. And that's it. Round two complete. One more round to go. Come on, let's finish strong. Let's do this. Have a little drink. Shake those arms off. We're going to go back in with the heel kick. Reverse fly. Like I say, if you're watching this in a replay, you can pause this. Have a little bit longer break, break. Not too long, minute, minute and a half maximum. And then we'll get straight back in it. But we're going to go live here. Working hard. Last bit. Go. Heel kick. Reverse fly. That's it. Nice. Control movements. We're on round three. Come on, let's do this. Still nice control though, we're not going fast. We're just pushing through to the end, building that physical and mental strength that we all need at the moment. Life's tough, life can be hard. You're watching the news all the time, it's depressing. I don't watch the news because it is depressing. I open my door in the morning, it's exactly the same as it was yesterday. Maybe a little bit more rainy today. <laughs> and good work. We're doing a dip and reach. So we're going to dip out and reach to side to side. Again, nice active rest if you want, or you can just stand and shake those legs off. It's entirely up to you. We're on round three. We'll try and keep that active rest if you can, just marching. Nice little walking on the spot. We're going in three, two, one. Dip and reach. So dip and reach over to the other side. That's it. Core's engaged. Really working the body. Fantastic work, go on, dip and reach. We're on round three, we're on the home straight. Let's push through, good work. Fantastic work, go on, keep going. Twisting to the side, reaching up, using that body, using that core, really working. Great stuff, three, two, one, and fantastic, working on the spot again. We've got the knee up and hook again. So again, you can do left knee first, right knee first, whichever one you did last time. Do the opposite one. And we're doing a knee and hook. Nice controlled movement. Again, cause engaged, working the whole body, twisting and moving the arms. So we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Bring your arm up, leg up, knee up, sorry. And twisting, again, nice. Control motion. Really working this time under tension, controlling the movement rather than blasting it out. This makes the exercise a little bit tougher and that body's a lot better for toning up and shaping your body. That's it. Three, two, one. And good work. Well done. Come on, run. Halfway through almost. After this one, we're halfway through the last round. So we're doing a left, right knee up and left hook, or the opposite to what you did. Let's do this. Come on. Let's push through. Come on. Physical, mental strength. Deep breath. Let's go. Just over four minutes left of work. And knee up and hook. That's it. Hooking across the body. Nice control movement. Like I say, if you're not doing it with white weights, you can blast this out if you want for a cardio workout. If you're doing it with weights, you want a nice control movement to protect that back, protecting your body so you're not pulling anything. That's it. Good work. Keep going. I'm almost there. We're halfway through after this exercise. Three, two, one, and fantastic. We're going in for a reverse lunge. Sorry, I can't get my words out. See, my throat's still a bit tickly. So, reverse lunge and lateral uh, front raises. Sorry, nice controlled movement though. I'm not swinging, we're not doing this. That's going to be not much for you at all. Nice control. Three, two, one, let's go. Down. And up with the arms, that's it. Down and up, reaching back and then reaching forward. Core's engaged, controlled, nice, slow, steady movement from one side to the other, bringing the foot back to the middle, 
standing up and going back down. We're almost there. Oh, we're over halfway through. We've got just under, just over three minutes left of work. Let's push through together. Come on, you can do this. And rest, good work. Fantastic. Walking on the spot, three exercises to go. Come on, we've got the punch out. So a little dip and punching out in front of you. This is gonna burn after just doing those laps of those front raises. But let's do this. Come on, five seconds. Deep breath. And let's go. Punching, dipping. That's it. Core's engaged. Working the full body. The legs are working. The arms are working. The core's working. The back's working. That's it. Punch it out. Punch from the side. Just a nice little dodge and punch. That's it. Good work. That's it. Hand back to the front. Go on. Good work. Almost there. Five seconds. Two, one, and fantastic. Two exercises to go. You can do one leg up and then the other leg again to the side. Putting those knees out to the side, the arms out to the side, really brings in the obliques. So it's a bit of a core, standing core workout as well. Let's do this. Two more exercises. Round three. Come on. Let's finish strong. Three, two, one, and go up. Two, one, two, one, two, and again. One, two, let's finish this. One, two, good work. One, two, one, two, one, two. Like I say this can be done with or without weights. This workout is fantastic. You want to do it again for a bit of a cardio workout? You can do it without weights at any time. Just go into the replay and watch it. Oh, I'm losing count now. <laughs> watch it again without the weights and just do it faster. And one more. Well done. Last exercise. We are done. We'll do a nice little cool down. We've got the side steps and lateral raises. Again, nice, slow and controlled movements. We're on the last exercise. Let's do this. Come on. Deep breath in. 35 seconds worth of work, then we'll have a little stretch. I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. And let's go, step. Oh, that's it. Step into the side, lateral raises. Nice, controlled movement. That's it. Core's engaged, stepping the legs out. Nothing too far, we're just working nice. In a nice little range of motion. That's it, and still working the body. We're still pushing ourselves. Last 10 seconds, come on. Three, two, one, and brilliant. Well done, everybody. Fantastic workout. Put your weights down, grab yourself a drink. Wow. That is a full body weights, small weights workout to help you Tone and shape your body. Yeah, get a nice booty on there. Working those arms, toning up, tightening that core up. Really working the whole body, working these legs, everything. Little dips, you did all sorts there. Really good full body workout and great to tone up. Like I say, if you haven't got the weights, you could just do it without the weights and it's still a good workout for the full body. So we're gonna finish off with a nice little cool down. Just have a nice little stretch across the arms. Pull the arm across. Oh, taking a few deep breaths. Slow that breathing down. Shake those legs off nice and gently. If you're sore at any places, just hold the stretch a little bit longer. Like I say, if you're watching on the replay, you can pause at any time. Just do a deeper stretch. And we'll swap over. Most stretches, they need between 10 and 20 seconds. Just to stretch off as long as you're not too tight. If you're a little bit tight, then so you have another little stretch later. Uh, I do yoga, that's really good. You can do a 20 minute yoga session, which is a good full body stretch, which really does help um, working the body. So I'm gonna stretch up and over, just lean into the side, we're not holding the wrist, we'll just put rest in our fingers. We're just stretching, oh, that's nice. Down the side body from those flies. And we'll go to the other side. Oh. 
Curl over as far as you can. That's it. Taking a few deep breaths. Well done. Good work. We're going to pull the leg through. So a nice little quad stretch. Like I say, anytime you feel like you need more stretching, do more stretching. If you've got a little bit of muscle soreness, um, later on do another stretch. Go for a walk. It's a good little thing. Um, the weather's not brilliant where we are, but I'm still going to go for a walk. Put my raincoat on. Like I say, there's no such thing as a bad, uh, bad weather. It's always bad, uh, bad clothes. So as long as you've got a nice big raincoat or an umbrella, you're perfectly fine. Saying that, an umbrella won't be too good around here, it'll probably blow away. Well, <laughs> it's not raining that bad, a little bit of spitting. So it's alright. So we're going to finish off, nice little hamstring stretch. We've got a live workshop tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to talk about self-talk. So about your inner self-talk. Um, and how it can bring you, well it's your worst enemy, it is your worst enemy because you've talked yourself out of things before you've achieved anything. So we're going to talk about how to control a little bit about yourself talking and how to work through that and get through the other side. So a nice stretch from the hamstring, get through the other side and be able to control your inner self-talk. Um, I was my biggest critic um, for many years um, but then I realised you know what, I can be my biggest fan as well. Um, so now, instead of being my biggest critic, it sounds sad, but I'm my number one fan. Because if I'm not behind me, who else is? I have got my wife and my friends, which is great, but I need to back myself in all bases to achieve everything I want to do. And that's what you've got to do. It's, um, it's definitely worthwhile, 100%. That's it. And last little side, we're almost done. Oh. And good work. Well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that workout. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for catching up. Whatever you've watched it at any time, really appreciate it. Hope you have a good day. And I'll catch you tomorrow night for my live. And we'll do another workout Friday morning. Um, I might even put a little poll in the group, see what anybody wants. So take care. Have a good day. I'll speak to you tomorrow night. Goodbye.